Isaiah 44, 8. Is there a God besides me? Indeed, there is no other rock. I know not one. God Jesus is simply explaining to us that he is living God deity alone. Great God Jehovah and great God the holiness of who they all are, the Holy Spirit. They are one God alone still, but yet three separate in the presence as still one God alone. Now that pretty much explains it itself. And there's other scriptures in the Bible that says that God is just one. 1 John 5, 7, the Father, the Word, the Holy Spirit bear witness as one. Jesus says, when you have seen the Father, you have seen me. One God. Together, all three are one God. The holiness of who they are just simply the explanation about who they are. Simply God first and God always. That's it. There is no other living God. Never has been, never can be. So in the willingness of who we are, who are we in our will to trust and believe in God Almighty alone, Jehovah, God Jesus, and God the Holy Spirit, as one God alone, yet three separate in presence as one God alone still. It is our choice to make that deliberate choice in increasing our heart, in our spirit, within our mind, and thinking in our body about who Jesus Christ is, or our soul, about who Jesus Christ is as God alone. He is with us in our heart through the Holy Spirit. So therefore, when we accept Jesus Christ as God and Savior alone, He is with us from that moment forward, and even until the end of time on this planet. Now, if you don't confess God in existence, He is still with you. He's just not with you the same as he is with someone else who believes that there is God and God Jesus and God the Holy Spirit as one but yet three. Some people believe in God, but they don't believe that Jesus Christ is God. If you don't believe that Jesus Christ is God, you don't believe that the Holy Spirit is either. So there's no communication between us or between you and God Jehovah. Jesus Christ, God, is the mediator for all of us without him in confession of our heart to know and believe and trust that he is God alone. There is no communication between us and God Jehovah. Jesus says it. No one comes to the Father except by me. Listen to your heart. Know the words that are in there. God has given to each man the measure of faith. Those are all in the Bible, these scriptures. Listen to who we are as God's children. We know him. We can't see him, but we do realize he is in existence of simply God alone first, and then our God, creator, and savior alone, and our very best friend. So those are the words to keep in mind, that Jesus Christ is simply God alone first, infinite. Then he is God, creator, and savior alone to us. So remember, in Isaiah 44, 8, is there a God besides me? Indeed, there is no other rock. I know not one. God Jesus is saying it. He has said it many times when he was here. And now it's included in his word that he has written for us to study as a profile of who he is and was as God himself in the flesh when he was here on earth. And now we have the absolute word of God in the Bible to lead us and guide us and teach us and to continually remind us to worship him, love him, adore him, and confess him as God and to teach everyone else that we can around this world all the way up until his return that he is God Jesus alone. God bless. Talk to you later. Bye.